Are you curious about what life is like in Rancho Cucamonga? Maybe you're thinking about moving to Rancho Cucamonga or simply just want to learn more about the city out of pure curiosity. Well, this is the only video that you will need. So make sure to watch it to the very end because it's filled with insider information that you will not hear anywhere else. Hi and welcome home, Hildjian Home, where you will find real estate information that no one else is sharing with you. If you are thinking about moving to the Inland Empire and you have any questions about the process, feel free to shoot me a direct message. I'd be happy to insist in any way. With that said, let's go ahead and get right into the video. All right, so Rancho Cucamonga is located in Southern California, specifically in the Inland Empire. It's about 37 miles east from Los Angeles and a 10 minute drive from the nearest airport, which is Ontario International Airport. Now, Rancho Cucamonga was established in 1977. It is currently located in San Bernardino County and has a population of 174,453 people. Rancho Cucamonga is well known for its city's agriculture history, which can be found in the city seal, which centers on a cluster of grapes. The city's proximity to major transportation hubs, airports, and highways has attracted the business of several large corporations, including Coca-Cola, Frito-Lay, Big Lots, Mercury Insurance Group, Southern California Edison, and Amphistar Pharmaceuticals. Cost of living in Rancho Cucamonga is considered about 18.6% higher than the US average. All right, let's talk about recreations and parks in Rancho. Rancho Cucamonga is a great spot for outdoor recreation. Located within its borders, you'll find numerous parks, including the Pacific Electrical Trail, North Etiwanda Preserve, Red Hill Park, complete with hiking trails, beach access, and much, much more. And when you're ready to head back into civilization, there are several great theaters like the AMC, located in Victoria Gardens. Restaurants like Lucille's Smokehouse Barbecue, which is one of my favorites, King's Fish House, Lazy Dog Restaurant, and for all you bougie people, Fleming Steakhouse. And there are several other restaurants all around the city. Hey, by the way, if you are finding value in this video, could you do me a huge favor by liking, commenting, and subscribing? Because why not? Okay, now let's carry on and talk about the school systems. Now, if you do have kids around or plan to have kids within the next few years, you may be wondering what the school system is like. Well, Rancho Cucamonga is served by the Chafee Joint Union School Districts. Now, overall, the schools are very highly rated. A few standout schools include the John L. Golden Elementary, Day Creek Intermediate School, and Los Ojos High School. Now, full disclosure, since I am an agent, there are certain things that I'm not able to really dive into. So please check the description for school reports, do your own due diligence so that you know exactly what you're getting into. So if this all sounds great to you, you may be wondering, okay, but well, what about the real estate? What's that like in Rancho Cucamonga? Well, I'm glad you asked. The average price for a single family home in Rancho Cucamonga is $787,500. Now, over the past couple of years, home prices have gone up with a 10.9 increase year over year. For the most part, you'll find homes built in several different styles as well as several modern new built homes, which is perfect for all you millennial first time home buyers. All right, so property taxes. Rancho Cucamonga has an average property tax rate of 1.34%, which is slightly lower than the average San Bernardino County property tax rate of 1.42%. However, property taxes in Rancho Cucamonga vary significantly across all zip codes throughout the city. Now, if you are looking for a new job when you do get to Rancho, you will have several options. As mentioned earlier, Rancho Cucamonga is home to several large corporations such as Coca-Cola, Frito-Lay, Big Lots, Mercury Insurance Groups, Southern California Edison Group, and Amphistar Pharmaceuticals. So these are all great opportunities for you if you are looking to find a new job in the city. In addition, the Ontario International Airport is only three miles away, about a 10 minute drive, which provides even more job opportunities. As millennials, I know a lot of you have the option to work from home. So living in Rancho Cucamonga is a great kind of buyer's hack to buying a large home, new built home and taking advantage of not having to commute to work. You know, you could actually sit in your brand new home in a beautiful city, beautiful weather and work from home. It's a huge hack for all you millennials out there that have that option. All right, so safety. When it comes to safety, Rancho Cucamonga offers some great programs to help keep families safe. Expansive neighborhood watch programs, tight knit communities and responsive police force helps keep Rancho Cucamonga safe for you and all of your loved ones. But again, full disclosure, you'll want to 
to check the description for more details on what safety looks like in the city. Now Rancho Cucamonga is full of several entertainment opportunities. Rancho actually has an epicenter, the Rancho Cucamonga epicenter, the Etsy Wanda Falls, Victoria Gardens, which is a really, really nice outdoor mall and several other things to discover and to enjoy with the family. Now, in addition, Disneyland Knott's Berry Farms Universal Studios is just within a you know couple of hour drive away. And if you do want to enjoy uh, you know snowboard in the winter time, you could go to Big Bear, which is about an hour and a half drive away. And then you also have different casinos and wine country in Pechanga, where you could actually go ahead and play table games, not just your typical card games. You can even play slots in these Indian Reserve casinos located within an hour drive from Rancho Cucamonga. All right, so for all of you foodies, Rancho Cucamonga is absolutely brimming with delectable restaurants. From the famous Fleming Steakhouse to the smaller family-owned Bushfire Kitchen, there's sure to be something to please everyone's taste. You can enjoy Mexican at El Cerrito Mexican restaurant, you can enjoy Thai at Thai Tea restaurant, Italian at Brio Italian Grill, American at Lazy Dogs, and for all you foodies, you have to try the Secret Sandwich. It's a global Italian secret sandwich spot. Spot. Again, located here in Racho Cucamonga. Now the commute in Rancho Cucamonga is pretty bad. Most people drive about 30 minutes each way if they're going through to and from different cities. And rush hour is pretty nasty, it gets pretty bad. But let's be honest, anywhere in Southern California, you're gonna have to experience this sort of traffic. And it's, it's just something that you're gonna have to bite the bullet for. All right, now the weather in Rancho Cucamonga is classified as hot summer Mediterranean. And the city experiences an average of 287 sunny days per year compared to a national average of 205 days. Now for all of you outdoor hiking lovers, Rancho Cucamonga is perfect to enjoy the beautiful California weather. As a matter of fact, if you're in California, especially Southern California, this is the reason why you actually move out here is for the beautiful weather and for the year long beautiful weather. Again, 287 sunny days out of 360 days out of the year gives you the opportunity to go out, make memories, spend time with your family, drive out to LA, to San Diego, and just enjoy a weekend away from work away from you know any sort of stress that you might be going through that is the biggest biggest kind of pull to living in california all right now if you like what you hear and you're hoping to make rancho kugamonga your home absolutely get in touch with me i'm happy to help answer any questions especially if you are a first-time home buyer i do actually have a free ebook down that's going to guide you on every step of the process to purchasing your very first home 2024 has been a pretty hot markets thus far here in Southern California and anywhere in California for that matter. Having to navigate the higher interest rates is tough, but there are ways and strategies to be able to still make that home buying goal your absolute truth today. But it all really takes rising, all takes planning and getting yourself surrounded by the right people to consult you is absolutely the first step that you should take. All right, thank you so much for taking your time out of the day to watch my video. I am very happy to help again and I am hoping that you found a lot of value in this video. Again, if you have any questions regarding the home buying process, feel free to contact me. I am happy to assist in any way. With that said, I'll see you guys in the next video.